Everybody who's done anything in Supercross, myself, Ricky Carmichael, Jeremy McGrath, all these guys came up through Loretta's. It's the biggest, the best, most pristine amateur national in the world. If you want to get on the radar of amateur motocross, this is the place to be. This is the proving grounds, because if you win here, you beat everyone. And I think that's what makes this the crucible of amateur motocross. It does not get any more competitive than Loretta Lynn. Finally at Loretta Lynn's and um, just get ready for practice. Lined up early so uh, I get to go out on a clear track. I'm really looking forward to it. It's uh, really deep out there. First practice of the whole week. Pumped to be out there. This is this is going to be your last race here. Have fun. At least your last amateur race. Hey, have fun. Now it's time to get a good practice. They just cleaned up a few sections and just changed some stuff, but. Really good improvements, and uh, I mean, first lap, I was like, wow, I actually like the track. That was a big surprise to me. I was not expecting it. Nice run, dude. Okay. Got some good lines. We're gonna, we got one more practice, and then it's gonna be serious practice. <laughs> Do the same thing, get up first. It's Cooper Webb, first day of practice Monday here at Loretta, second practice, about to go shred. Feel stuff out. We don't, you know, this doesn't count for anything. It's just track time, so I'm trying to make sure the setup and everything's good. Seems good. I mean, he's putting in good laps. So. Now I'm not gonna go and set the world's fastest time, so uh, I'll just go out there and hopefully uh, learn some stuff. Number four, I uh, got a top ten position last year here at Loretta Lynn's, and I uh, was able to get number four this year. Feeling pretty good, you know, my speed's getting back up there and my leg doesn't hurt too much anymore. Uh, you know, it still gets sore, but, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Just go out there and get the track dialed, get myself comfortable with everything and try to sit down a fast lap. Oh man, hopes for this week. I would, uh, I would love to come out here and win a championship, you know, and uh, you know, mainly just have some fun, but if I can win a championship doing that, that'd be great. I think my chances are good, even though I haven't been riding that long and I'm a little bit big on the 125, but uh, I can muscle it around pretty good and uh, I still ride it good, so uh, I think if I can just get some good starts, I think my chances will be good. School by one practice. Hot, rough, really slick in a few places, and gnarly. That's basically the bottom line of it. I'm happy, I'm comfortable. Uh, got everything down on the bike, bike's fast, feels pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to race this thing. Getting ready for the first 250 practice of the week, and uh, hopefully it'll be good. I'm just going out there and I'm gonna get to the use of the bike and the track. Uh, it's a transition from the 150 to the 250, so uh, see how that works out, but I'm excited. Practice, I thought he looked really good. Took his time out there uh, in traffic. Set some pretty good lap times at the end there. And uh, I'm stoked. Well, we came here to win. That's what we came to do. So uh, that's what we'd like to do. Tomorrow I'll ride the Super Mini and uh, 11 o'clock. So that should be the tail. It's Tuesday morning, day one of competition at the 30th annual AMA Red Bull Amateur National Motocross Championships. We're stretching out for my Super Mini 1 moto. And, uh, 11 o'clock, so we're just getting nice and ready for that, and uh, hopefully go out there and kill it. Folks, get out of your RVs. It's time to go racing with the Super Mini Class. 33rd gate pick. Uh, hopefully we can turn something out of this. I think we'll probably go towards the outside because there's some pileups on the inside, but um, Coops can make it happen if anybody can. Uh, he said last year he drew 40, uh, the first the first two as first two motos, and still won or came out good, so it should be good. Webb running the big fat number one. There it is. That means I am the champ. I won this thing last year. Into the start, it's the number 92 machine with a huge hole shot. Adam Cincerillo starts his week off with a bang. The champ, it's Cooper Webb in the number four spot on the Red Bull Honda ride. That's your leader, Adam Cincerillo. 
look at Webb, where he's in an outside line, enter to the Ten Commandments, side by side. He's stuck on the outside. Can he beat him to the corner? He does. Cooper Webb up in the third. Disaster for Cooper Webb. He has gone down, and he has lost a ton of ground. Here in this first moto, it's going to be number 92, Adam Cincerillo, with that checker flag. A long way from home, but a good start. A lot of stuff can happen. It's uh, same my old format, and that's what that is, so you never know. And hopefully, uh, we can get a 1-1 one -one the next two motos. Probably one of my best years since um, 2006. 2006 was the year I won, and um, every year after that, I've had some sort of issue. This year, I feel like I've, I really got my myself healthy and fit and ready to go. It's all up to me to do it. My bike's good and everything's good. I just gotta put it all together. Feeling in our camp here right now is uh, our rider is a lot more confident. He's confident with his bike. You know, I don't know what to expect. I let him go out and do the best he can do, and where he where he finishes, he finishes. Watch for those slick spots. They just put a lot of water down. Now he's worked his way up to 11. He's got a small group in front of him, so he should be good as long as he keeps pushing. Um, hopefully he'll make it to the top five. I don't know. They're starting to space out. I was so stoked to see him in second place. He had an awesome start, and then all of a sudden he was gone. I didn't know until I got back here that something happened. Somebody crashed in front of him. He got hooked up on him and dead last. Dead last to six. Can I say more? I'm not happy, but you know, it was... I could be out of this tent, that would be really scrappy, so can't complain. We're just getting ready for my first moto of the week. It's on Tuesday, 4.30 in the afternoon, schoolboy one. Coming in this year, unfortunately, I was only able to do one class, but uh, you know, that, I guess that helps me focus a lot more on just the one class. We're getting ready for the first Schoolboy one moto. We drew a good number and drew number 10, so that's the best Matt's ever drawn. Hopefully we can come out front and get a good start and not have to fight these guys. This is all you, Matt. This is, there's no one that can run with you. Ride your own race and be smart. Come on, you're the man, Matt! Yamaha rider out front. Oh, that is a sweet sound right there. Here comes the Red Bull Yamaha rider on the number four machine, and Matt Bashelia gets by McElrath. Look at him go, folks. Bashelia feeling it right now. Got his flow on, number four on the Yamaha. Fastest lap of the race turned by the number four machine on lap number four, a 159. Here he is, folks. Put your hands together for your winner. It's number four. It's going to be the Red Bull Yamaha ride of Matt Bashelia. I uh, feel so good. Uh, I haven't won a motor here in two years. Look at how these last two years have gone, man. I'm just so fortunate to even be here. I barely made it in here, and man, I'm just so blessed to be here and to be back uh, in contention again. I'm just—I couldn't be happier right now.